Leading off for us as it will be the 125 pound matchup between Elijah Oliver and Travis Piotrowski, which promises to be one of the premier matchups that we're gonna get on the evening. Piotrowski is currently ranks 18th in the nation and Elijah Oliver is coming off nine consecutive victories. So something's gonna have to give here as the two wrestlers head out to their positions and are getting ready for this matchup to get underway. Yeah, you know, you mentioned Oliver, nine consecutive wins, really been able to turn his season around. Before that, he was at three and 13, up to 12 and 13 now on the season. And as we get started, we're gonna start neutral position. Both guys looking to get the, get the edge and no one's seen to give an inch. Yeah, you know, interesting, this matchup, Piotrowski and Oliver, a rematch from last year. It, it was a thrilling uh, dual matchup, one, uh, one by decision, 5-4 by Piotrowski. That was their only matchup, so this is the second time they've met, and hopefully it lives up to the hype from last time. Right? Yeah, overall, Indiana and Illinois have a long history between one another. This is the 90th meeting between the two schools. Illinois holds a 47 to 41 and to one advantage in the all-time series and have won each of the last five meets. As we, it looks like we might get a near takedown by Piotrowski and two points to be awarded to the Illini as he gets, he gets the position on Oliver. Looks like now Piotrowski looking to establish the riding time as he tries to get a leg on Oliver. Yeah, we'll see if Oliver can try and get a reversal here. The reversal will go a long way towards help, helping out his success here. And speak, speaking of Piotrowski, he is one, one of the premier wrestlers in the nation. In fact, he is a sophomore from Crystal Lake, Illinois. He was the 2017 Roadrunner champion and the first Illini true freshman to qualify for NCAAs last season since Jackson Morris back in 2011. Yeah, a talented guy, definitely someone who the Illini wrestling team is uh, is building around for the future. And he's number 19 in the country right now. Yeah, yeah there, there are a few different outlets, mostly having him around the same same, uh, same uh, ranking position. He's been seen at 18 and 19 on a couple different uh, different outlets from inter Intermat Wrestling to Flow Wrestling to the United States Today post, uh, coaches poll. Builds up over a minute of riding time here as we get in the first minute of the first period. Looks like they're going to call out of bounds to reset across the middle. Uh, Piotrowski, last time out, just absolutely dominated Brandon Cray, getting a major decision of 14 0 as we look here at the takedown. They're going to start with Oliver from the down position. G great way, for a really, to, it's, uh, it's actually kind of underrated to be starting from the down position as you can out and often get a quick escape point out of that, but Piotrowski not letting Oliver do what he does best and slip out of it. Yeah. That's and what you see right did. there. Great ass lessons by Oliver to escape that hold there as he, he did a series of moves that just uh, it's just, uh, just slippery out there. Yeah, good job by Oliver to get himself on the board. That's one thing that Hoosiers tend to struggle with is not getting points early on in, in the first period and they have to play catch up the rest of the, uh, the match. Yeah, so getting off to an early start, I guess, especially against one of Illinois' more talented wrestlers in Piotrowski, is going to be huge going forward if, if Indiana is going to pull off the upset. That we saw before, Illinois ranked 14th in the country despite just a 5-3 and three record. But mainly, as you mentioned at the outset of the broadcast, the Illinois schedule has done them no favors. No, no, no. Again, when you, the three losses they have are against top 15 opponents in the country. That's... Ridiculous. And if you get a look here at Elijah Oliver's quick escape right there, you see him just diving under the reach of Piotrowski and able to escape. Yeah. And you know, another thing too about the five wins they have are all quality wins, including two wins against ranked Big Ten opponents. That's right, they have, they have wins over Purdue and Nebraska uh, to, to their resume. And Elijah Oliver, as we mentioned before, he has a nine match winning streak. He has not lost since the Indiana duels against Binghamton's Joe Nelson and that was, it was by a near decision as he only lost by a score of nine to seven. Since then he has, he has gotten major decisions and a, excuse me, he's gotten two major decisions, a technical fall, and he pinned Ethan Rotundo against Wisconsin in two minutes and 31 seconds. You know, it's, it's good to see a guy like Oliver, still a, a young guy for this team, someone who the Hoosiers can look up to in, in coming years. And so it's nice to see him on this win streak like this, even Regardless of what happens tonight, just it's a big confidence builder for him, and I think it's a big confidence builder uh, for Coach Gold. 
Yeah, and as you mentioned, Coach Dwayne Goldman, he's in his 26th season here at Indiana as the head man, 28th overall. He is currently 297, 189, and 5 on the year. So if he can go on a three-match win three winning streak here, he'll reach number 300 to end this season. And we're going to see about a minute 13 left in the second period. Elijah Oliver is going to start from the down position. Looks like we're going to have a clock dispute here between Illinois coach Jim Hefferman and the official. Looks like we might have had a clock malfunction over there. Mm -hmm. Is a reset? You mentioned Coach Hefferman. He and Coach Goldman were teammates back in the 80s at uh, University of Iowa. Yeah, yeah they're two, two products of a distinguished Iowa program, one that is consistently near the top. And, I, and as it stands right now, the Iowa Hawkeyes at, is currently our fifth in the Big Ten right now f at 4-2, and two, number seventh in the nation for the 9-2 overall record. And we get another out of bounds call. We're going to uh, head right back to the center circle. And obviously, going to start in down position. Currently trailing Piotrowski two to one, but a quick escape here could go, could will knot things up. Yeah, Oliver would like escape, and I think too he might even be looking for a complete reversal. Yeah, big reversal could be big here. We got one more period after this one, and Indiana will look for a quick tempt as. Right, right now, as it stands, Piotrowski is dominating riding time, so Oliver's going to have to make, it a, make a quick escape if he's going to hope to erase some of that, or at least get a couple of quick reversals so that the riding time won't matter towards the overall outcome. Yeah. Piotrowski not giving an inch here as he's got that leg in a, almost a figure four back in the back. Yeah, and unless Oliver can get an escape here, Piotrowski will have Exact about three minutes of riding time built up. That'll be pretty hard to overcome. Yeah, it's basically a guaranteed point there for Piotrowski at this point, as he's built up so much riding time that it basically it's basically a two point two three point deficit at this point for Oliver, despite the score reading two to one. Yeah, three oh seven riding time built up exactly. That's uh, I'm gonna look here. Oliver just trying to frankly escape, but he's not getting an inch from Piotrowski. He's trying to make his way to the edge, but Piotrowski was able to hold him down and keep him in bounds. Piotrowski doing a good job of not uh, giving Oliver anything. Oliver starting from the up position right now. Yeah, Piotrowski trying to get the escape, trying to build on his lead, but Oliver doing a good job of locking the fingers and trying to keep him in bounds, trying to his best to recover some of that riding time, which he managed to kill about 10 to 11 seconds of. But in the long run, that's not going to do a whole lot. Mm -hmm. As at this point, Oliver's probably focusing a little more on escapes and reversals rather than trying to cut down the riding time from Piotrowski if he hopes to win this one. Takedown here, too, would be good for Oliver. The takedown would, go along, would be huge, as it could, and that's, but, but that's not what he wanted right there because Piotrowski gets the escape. So we got about a minute and a half remaining in the third period. Elijah Oliver trailing Piotrowski 3-1. to one. Piotrowski dominating riding time right now with 3 minutes and 12 seconds accumulated. And Oliver going for a tackle. Piotrowski is able to keep a firm base. He gets his legs behind him, plants himself into the ground, and stops Oliver from getting the takedown that he sorely needed. It's a nice job by Piotrowski to avoid contact from Oliver. It was, yeah, and Oliver just you can kind of see the frustration on his face there. Those are a couple of really good moves, but Piotrowski is able to stay back and play a really good defense there. As you see a lot of experience out of the sophomore. He's look, looking like a seasoned veteran out there. Looking yeah. at the boundary call, about 51 seconds left. 3-1 lead for, lead for Piotrowski. And, and yeah. take down by Piotrowski. We might, we might have a pin here. We've got to watch Oliver's shoulders. Ref getting really in there. Oliver doing his best, and he got the fall. He got the pin. And that's a pin for uh, Travis Piotrowski. And, and, and uh, he defeats Elijah Oliver for the total f uh, for the pinfall, and Illinois takes an early six to nothing lead. Great win there by Travis Piotrowski. Elijah Oliver's win streak comes to an end as we get a look here at the takedown. What do you see here, Will? Yeah, well, you know Piotrowski looked like he finally got full leverage there and was able to get the pin. Just it was a 
Oliver did a good job throughout 